Huh. Benji, you're really trying to make this game so apparently... Uh, some of the DLC has been packed in a bundle with the Forsaken DLC. So you get it all rather than having to buy it all separately. Which is a really cool idea. Because um, it sucks for a game like this. And WoW and all that. MMOs in general to have to constantly buy DLC and such. This is a really loud cutscene. You have to turn the volume down on like every cutscene ever. Um, I still don't know why they made a Destiny 2 though like it's an MMO you're not really supposed to make sequels to MMOs you're supposed to make expansion packs which they did but then they made a sequel anyway oh I'm in third person I have no ghost. I think this means I'm... Can I not pull my gun out? I'm pretty sure still without these superpowers we can still shoot someone in the head and kill them. I don't think we need magic to be able to do that. But yeah, took me forever to download this game. Got to the point where one of my mates was like, uh, come around my house, I've got better than that. Never actually managed to do that, but I managed to download it in the end. Um, and I'd wanted to do this recording earlier, uh, when it was more relevant, so I could get out when it was more relevant. Um, but... I've been busy, work's getting busy, I've had a lot that I've wanted to get done. It seemed to be a lot more tense if I could walk at a standard speed. Honestly. I don't like it when it's like, ooh, you're dying, slow movement, thump thump. But it is. Guardian. You're alive. I thought I'd lost you. I can feel you. But I can't resurrect you. Not since. Guardian. The light is gone. They've taken the city. The traveler. We could shoot them. Like, we have weapons. I don't know why I can't... Like, why would a gun suddenly stop being able to kill these things? Are the weapons solely based around the light? Why do you invent a bunch of weapons that only guardians can use? Rendezvous coordinates. They're evacuating the planet. We're on our own. I mean, I doubt it. This is an MMO. This would have had a lot more impact if it wasn't an MMO and you actually were on your own. You know? Okay, just skip ahead, I guess. Some nice music, though. I wonder if I can get to Destiny soundtrack. Because if the rest of it is like this, I uh, I dig it. Also, this doesn't seem like I haven't had a bath, or a shower, or changed clothes. These guardians, they had no chance without their powers. That could be us. 
Guardian, if you die, I can't resurrect you. We need to be very careful. I, uh, I heard. <clears throat> Yet again, uh, this whole thing would be solved if you just had a gun. Oh, like this, a gun with bullets that can kill things. So... Why do these things have ammo? What falcon? Oh, that falcon. Like, this is kind of cool. Like, I don't know how Destiny 1 went, because I haven't played it. Um, from what I've heard, it's not the best game around. This is an improvement. I'm feeling like this would have been an amazing single player game. Can I? Okay, no. Cutscene time. Like. Ah! Oh no! This could have been a really good, like, shooter RPG. Um, and this could be like super emotional and awesome. I feel like they... It's that falcon again. Is it following us, or are we following it? Don't try and sound philosophical or deep. Just because we're dying, we're following it. Oh, it's literally sat there. Oh, big bird. I mean, it's not big bird, that'd be a bit weird, but it's a big bird. Because I now have what appears to be an ice weapon. Or blue. Still a restricted zone, ghost cannot resurrect me. Is that one of our ships? No. This is mean bullets because it's not highlighted. Well, it matters because you can't friendly fire anyway. Super dull. Can I not put my weapon away? I guess you wouldn't really want to if... Death was a permanent thing. Now, why is our plan just... Shooting enemies up the sky. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa! Yeah. 
That was a bit close to comfort. But I lived. Um, yeah, I would have recorded this like way earlier. By way, I mean like when I finished downloading it. But of course, four days to download didn't exactly help. And, um, well, that looks normal. It's kind of guess that's where I needed to go. Nice die. Oh look, somebody left a perfectly good guardian flying around. Things must be worse than I thought. And that's our cue. Time to go, people. Uh, but wait, where, where are you all going? As far away from here as possible. Ah. That falcon, it belongs to you. The name's Hawthorne, and this is Lewis, the best pilot we've got. What about you? Fit to fly? Not really. You need one of these, too. A shotgun? Make yourself useful, Guardian. All right, people, spin them up. Got a long flight ahead of us. Why do I need a shotgun if I'm piloting a plane? Whoa, I should fight. I mean, I'm enjoying this. Traveler, all that I have done, grace me with your light. Take your place at the center of my empire. See me, and the Red Legion will be your true guardians. Dominus, the city is secure. Those who fled are being hunted, and those foolish enough to remain have been executed. Victory, as with all things, is yours to claim. This victory is as much yours as my lord friend. All that remains is the completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it to its rightful use. They call it the Traveler. I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled and exploited, as we have so clearly proved. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominant. spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus's greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will. <laughs> nope. You're right there, Shadow. What more would the Dominus Who's your guess? The speaker. I'm guessing. So then. The one who speaks for the traveler. Yeah, it must be the speaker. Coming up on the European dead zone. Gonna be our new home for a while. Where's Europe a dead zone? Look, do you recognize it? That's where we're supposed to go. No, I don't recognize it. 
They call it the Shard of the Traveler. I call it not a place you want to go poking around. Who are you? E to approach. Hi there. Ah, the postmaster. Do I have a map? Whoa! I have a map. This place is cool. E to approach. What do you need? Ah. So she sells some equipment. It's cool, it's cool. Anyone got any uh, quests? Anything worthy of a closer look? I don't know. What do you do? I'm glad to see you safe. I am Tyra. Tyra Karn. Okay, I don't need to know your last name. Have we met before? Losing my connection to the light has been disorienting. Now, I understand you seek the shard of the traveler. Apparently. Too, I've dreamt of it. I don't know why. It's a jagged, broken edge. A wound that never heals. What is the shard I of do the traveler? Trust its pull, like us. The shard no longer knows the light. Not since okay. the traveler cast it off during her flights. For centuries it has twisted and corrupted everything around it. Where it lies is now a place of death. If you are determined to go, remember, we guardians are no longer immortal. Basically, you're probably going to die. Also, F1 is quick character button. Bam! I equipped a rope. Did that make any difference? No. no she wants to speak to me. Whee. Kind of knowing you don't get to keep the weapon as you get at the beginning. What? This is Ooh. a lot of civilization. For me, at least. Of course, I've been living outside the city half my life. So, anyway, heard you want to go poke around that busted up hunk of traveler. <laughs> you guardians have a weird idea of a good time. Oh, well. Lewis and I know plenty about trusting your gut. So I'm not about to stop you. I got enough to deal with here. Take that ship you flew here. At least it'll get you back faster. See all these refugees? I haven't lost one yet. Don't you be my first. I think I can Later. survive. Right. Uh... I assume this is the right place. I haven't leveled it up yet. That's going to be interesting. Um, I had actually been trying to talk about it, so I can now. Magic to Gathering. That was it. I kind of actually spoke about everything to with that. I've edited the deck heavily. It was a uh, power hungry. Uh. I'm going to rename it Peckish Power because it was called Power Hungry because it was a lot of sacrificing stuff to buff your own stuff. But, um... Tis less about that now. So, it's not that hungry. It's kind of peckish. Ah! You sure you want to do this? That shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to talk. It's a sign. Yeah, a sign that says dead zone. Yeah, but also, like, 
We're probably gonna die anyway, so who cares? I'm gonna light the candle. Fire. Weird visual effect around me there. You know, I've been all over the EDC. Charming enough. I mean, nothing says come visit like a dark haunted forest. Okay. But non guardians aren't supposed to leave the city. Here's the thing about city rules they stop applying once you leave the city. There's a small gap in the wall. Hard to see, but it's there. Nobody goes farther than that. At least nobody who wants to come back. Well, I've got food, so I'm gonna wrap up here for now. I'm probably gonna do more. But I've also got to clean chinchillas. I'll probably find time to do more. Uh, but for now, uh, bye.